common method bias using AMOS, IBM SPSS AMOS series. Common method bias. Over the last 10 years, more and more attention has been paid to the idea of common method bias in the measurement analysis phase. Now common method bias is actually the inflation or in rare cases deflation of the true correlation among observable variables in the study. Research has shown that because respondents are replying to the survey questions about independent and dependent variables at the same time, this can artificially inflate the covariation which actually leads to biased parameter estimates. In this video, we are going to discuss how to assess and control for common method bias. The methods include Hermann single factor test and latent common method factor. There is another method, marker variable technique that will be discussed later. Hermann single factor test. The simplistic test performs an EFA with all the indicators in your model to determine if one single factor will emerge. Normally, if you are doing this in SPSS, what we do is we fix the number of factors to one. And if the overall variance is less than 0 0.50, that is 50%, we say that there is no issue of common method bias. However, greater than that, we will have an issue of common method bias. But how do we do this in AMOS? You will also see a Hermann single factor test performed with CFA where all indicators are purposely loaded onto one factor to determine model fit. It's the same scenario. What we are doing is we are just loading all the indicators onto one single factor rather than two or three or four factors. Now, if you get an acceptable model fit with one construct model, that is all items loaded onto one factor, then you have a method bias. Now there is an ongoing debate as to whether Hummer single factor test is appropriate test to determine common method bias. On one side, researchers have questioned this approach and have concluded that it is actually insufficient to determine if common method bias is present. However, there are other researchers like Fuller and others have argued that if common method bias is strong enough to actually bias results, then Hermann single factor test is sensitive enough to determine if a problem actually exists. While Hermann single factor test is easy to implement, it is a relatively insensitive test to determine common method bias compared to other post hoc tests. In conclusion, if you know a test is inferior to others, then there is very little justification for using this method. However, having said that, recently this particular test has been used in a number of research papers. So how do we implement Hermann single factor test using AMOS? Let's look at a practical example. So here is our model that we built in one of the last lectures. So what we are going to do is we are going to remove all the latent variables except for one. So let's remove this and let's remove this and let's load all the other items onto this particular single factor. So what we do is we just draw arrow from our latent variable to the indicators like this, like this, like this, this and this here. So now all the indicators are actually loading onto a single factor. Let's move this here. Let's brush it up. Now let's looks uh, particularly better. Now if we get a good fit for this model, then we can say yes, there is an issue of common method bias. So how do we run this? Just simply calculate your estimates. It doesn't look like a good fit to me. Go to model fit. No, no, no. So what was the original model fit? Let's look at the original model fit. So here is our original model and here is the model that we have just built for testing Hermann single factor test to obviously assess the common method bias. So let's look at the original fit. Run the test. Now look at the output. Look at the model fit. This is particularly good, actually very good. But look at this one here with a single factor. So we can say, yes, there is no issue of common method bias. 
using Hermann single factor test. I hope the video would have helped you understand the common method bias and how to test it using EMOS. Thank you very much.